Welcome to the end-to-end -end tutorial on the EM Signer portal. This tutorial will guide you through the complete process on how to digitally upload your document, sign and submit to the bank for further process. Let's get started. If you are a single point of contact for your company with the bank, you will be the initiator in EM Signer. You will receive an email from the bank regarding your EM Signer account. This email will contain a link. Please click this link to reach this page. In this page, please fill all the details, enter the CAPTCHA, check the Agree box and click Register. You will be redirected to EM Signer's Payment Gateway. Choose your preferred mode of payment and complete the payment process. If you wish to make the payment via NEFT or RTGS, then you can use the banking details mentioned on this page. If you pay via NEFT or RTGS, Payment amount would be rupees 6000 for one EM signer login, plus 18% GST which will sum up to 7080 rupees. And, please send details like QTR number, username, his email ID and mobile number to support at emsigner.com. Once your payment is successful, your EM Signer account will be created and you will receive your login credentials over email. Please note that, you will receive the email with login credentials instantaneously for payments made via the payment gateway, and it will take 4 to 5 working days for payments made via NEFT or RTGS. You can click on the login URL link provided in this email to proceed. Enter your EM Signer login ID and password as received in the email. Click on Login. Enter the old password which you use to log in now and create the new password of your choice. Click on Change Password. On the confirmation message, please click OK. Now you will be able to see the EM Signer dashboard. Before uploading the document to sign, you need to update the signer account setting. To do so, go to the right hand top corner and click on your profile name. And select the option settings. In this settings screen click the option account settings. In this page uncheck both e-signature check boxes and then click on apply. Now you will be taken back to the M Signer dashboard to upload document for signing. On the left hand side, click on the option Upload Document. Now you can click this Upload Document button to browse and upload the document to be signed. When you upload a PDF document please ensure that the file name does not exceed 5 words, and the size of the PDF file is not more than 7 MB. Please select the document to be signed from your computer's local drive and click on Open. Once the file is uploaded successfully, click on Continue. This brings you to the uploaded document view page. On the right hand side click on the button add signatory as many number of times as there are signatories. For example, if you have two signatories click on this button twice. You will also see two signature boxes appearing over the document on the left side. Please drag and drop these signature boxes to places where you want the signatures to appear in the document. Now click on the signatory button to select the names of signatories. If you are also a signatory, select me and also select other signatory in the workflow. If other signatories are not displayed in this drop down, you can add them by clicking the blue plus sign button. Now in this form, please enter other signatory's name and his organizational email ID and click submit. Now you have added the other signatory successfully. Now you will see the name of the other signatory in the drop down box, please select the signatory added. Click on Apply. Once all signatory details are selected click on Save and Continue. In this page you can sign the document if you are also a signatory. You can sign your document using your USB based digital signature. If you are having issues in signing using your USB based digital signature, please refer to the last module of this video. If you do not have a USB based digital signature, you can choose to sign using eSign. Now let us see the steps to be followed to sign the documents using eSign if you already have an eSign account. If you have not created an eSign account yet, 
Please refer to the next module in this video which explains how to create an eSign account for signing, and come back here for next steps. Now select on the option eSign and click on sign. You will reach the eSign user authentication page. Here please enter your eSign username and the 6 digit PIN you created while registering your eSign account, and click on get OTP. Enter the OTP received on your mobile. Check the agree box and click perform eSign. Your document has been successfully signed. Now you will reach the document send page. Here you can also attach any additional documents as supporting document. Before attaching the document, please enter the description for the file. Now click on the button attach document. Please ensure when you upload a PDF document the file name does not exceed 5 words and the size of the PDF file is not more than 5 megabytes. And, overall size of a uploaded document, including request letter can be up to 17 megabytes. Please select the document to be signed from your computer's local drive and click on open. Once the file is uploaded successfully click on the send button. With this the document moves from the initiator to other signatory for signing. Once all the signatories including you, have signed the document, as an initiator you can share the document to your bank by following these steps. You can go to the dashboard and select the completed button on the top. By just clicking on signer order button you can check at which stage the document currently is at. Color coding is provided for easy understanding. In case you have missed to attach the supporting document, which needs to be shared to your bank, please click on, view document icon on right hand side. Now on the left hand side, click on the button, view or add attachments. Enter the description for the file and click on choose file. Browse the file which you want to share and click open. Once you have confirmed that all the signatories have signed the document, you can click on the share icon on the right hand side. A pop-up window will appear in which the email ID of the intended receiver at the bank can be entered. Please note that you can add more email IDs of bank personnel by just separating them with a semicolon symbol. Please ensure that email IDs entered does not exceed 1000 words. In case you want to attach additional documents to be sent to the bank you can add them by selecting share attachment checkbox. Click on share. The signed document will be shared to the receivers at the bank for further process. This module explain you how to digitally upload your document, sign and submit it to the bank. In this module of the video, let us see how to create your Aadhaar based e-sign account and use it to sign the document. As a first step click on, eSign and click sign. Please note, in order to enroll and sign using eSign, you need to have an ATAR number and the mobile number you use now should be registered with this. To proceed further, please click on create new account. Before starting this user account creation, you have to download the ADAR XML file from the UIDAI website. You can do that by clicking on www.uidai.gov.in, as shown on the top of the page. This will take you to the UIDAI website. Here please enter your 12-digit ADAR number and security code as displayed. Then click on send OTP. Next enter a 4-digit share code of your choice which you can use to download your adder xml file and please remember this code in the meanwhile six digit otp number will be sent to your adder registered mobile number please enter this in the space provided for otp click on download button and save the adder xml file in local disk in your computer here select adder xml file by browsing and open the adder xml file which you just downloaded Fill all other details and create the e-sign username and 6 digit pin of your choice, and remember this for future usage. Please note that this e-sign username and 6 digit pin are required to log into your e-sign account, whenever you have to sign a document in the future. Enter the capture as displayed and check the terms box and click on proceed to verify. Now you will be able to see all the e-sign account information you entered in this verify information page. If the information you entered are correct please click on, submit for verification button to continue. To complete the KYC enrollment process, 
click on continue to video recording. Before clicking on start recording button please check if your webcam and microphone are switched on. Then click start recording. Answer all the questions verbally facing the webcam and click on the button submit to complete the video verification process. Now your video recording has been submitted successfully for a quick verification process. Please wait for 10 to 15 minutes for your eSign account to be verified and approved. Once your eSign application is approved, you will receive an SMS and email confirmation. Now you can click on continue for authentication button to proceed further. You will reach the eSign user authentication page. Here please enter your eSign username and the 6 digit PIN you created earlier, and click on get OTP. Enter the OTP received on your mobile. Check the agree box and click perform eSign. There you go, your document has been successfully signed. This module explained you how to register and create an Aadhaar based eSign account and use it to sign the document successfully. In this module of the video, let us see how to sign the document using USB based digital signature. For this keep your digital signature USB token ready with you. Plug in the token to USB port in your computer. Go to, choose your signing options and select the option digital signature. Then click download now button in green, to download the M signer utility, which will enable you to use digital signatures for signing. Install the utility by clicking next and install. Click on the button finished to launch the EM Signer utility. Refresh the signer page before clicking on the button sign. Select the option digital signature and click on sign. Select the digital signature you want to use and click on sign. Here you go, the document has been signed successfully using the digital signature. This module explained you how to digitally sign a document using your USB based digital signature successfully. This completes our end to end tutorial of EM Signer Portal, which helps you sign documents digitally and submit to bank in on time on the go. Thank you.